Chrissy, how soon after your father's death did you decide to start up the Memorial Foundation? One of my dad's friends, Ken Davis, approached me um, not, probably about a month or two afterwards about doing something to honor my father's uh, passion for fishing and, you know, to continue his legacy. So we got all of our paperwork and whatnot together and decided that we would really like to make, uh, work with Make-A-Wish. They're a credible foundation and us being a new foundation, they could help us with all the different procedures and whatnot and provide the connections to be able to help out different individuals. Great. And you guys have already started doing some Make-A-Wish Foundation events. Tell me about some of the kids. Well, our first one was Tyler Murdoch. That was in November. Uh, you know, Plantation Boatyard went out of their way to have him meet Jimmy Johnson. And he met Wyland, the marine artist. They hooked up uh, Greg Poland, our captain, with a 39-foot sea hunter that just got out of the factory. So that was really cool, you, sailfish, you know, pretty much everything you could ask for out there. We did another one with Tommy Fay with Jim Sharp, sailfish, darpin, or sail, sailfish, dolphin, a lot of offshore stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we moved on to working with Michael Lamour. He was actually Make-A-Wish's 9,000th Wish. So they approached us and said, you guys have done amazing things so far. You've went completely above and beyond. We would like you to grant our 9,000th wish. So we did that. You know, Mother Nature didn't exactly cooperate with us. My dad used to say, as soon as the cameras show up, the weather turns bad, mm -hmm. which, you know, is the case there. But we definitely, we did some stuff on the reef. We were fishing with Scott, uh, Captain Scott Keller on the Bad Habit from Island Marotta. They stayed in a beautiful vacation home. The whole Island Marotta community, from restaurants to uh, worldwide sportsmen, really pitched in and made this something special for Michael. We just got done with another one, uh, Bradley Hoffman, and he went fishing with uh, RT, Robert Trossett, and I mean, fishing it was literally the next week after Michael Lamore's wish and the weather of course cause since the cameras weren't there mm -hmm. the weather cleared up it was absolutely beautiful and I think one of the coolest fish that he caught and that he really uh, enjoyed the most was he leadered a hundred and fifty pound tarpon in Key West Harbor so awesome. that was that was really cool and also our sponsors Yeti, Under Armour, Shimano and Costa and uh, quite a few different independent companies offer them kind of, you know, a swag bag, mm -hmm. which is, you know, four duffel bags of clothes, hats, tackle, coolers, sunglasses. Wow. So that kind of, and for the fa whole family, it's not just for the kids. Mm -hmm. So that kind of makes it, you know, extra special. They mm -hmm. have something else to bring home. Mm -hmm besides all the awesome pictures, right. but in it's, memories. Uh, yeah, you know, kind of, it's kind of like the icing on the cake. Yeah, and now these are all kids with life-threatening conditions, and they have the wish to go out on the water. Maybe it's their first time, right? Yeah, some of these, it's their first time saltwater fishing. Mm -hmm. Some of them have had a little bit of experience, and, you know, we're working on tailoring it more to their needs and more of you know, what kind of fish they want to catch, uh, you know, does anybody get seasick, mm -hmm. stuff like that that really helps us be able to customize their wish um, for the best guides, you know, for the best time of year mm -hmm. and things like that. Great. Where do you see the foundation going, Chrissy? Well, in the future, uh, you know, we just want to do things for people that have life-altering experiences and continuing uh, my dad's legacy with the same inspiration, appreciation, and passion for the marine environment and its community. So we're doing four more wishes, uh, I'm sorry, three more wishes in June, mm -hmm. which is gonna be a little crazy, but we can do it. Mm -hmm. And from there, you know, maybe we'll work with another foundation. Uh, maybe we'll start doing our own application process, but we're still so young in this, um, I guess, journey that we're mm -hmm. taking. Mm -hmm. So. 
uh, you know, we'll see what happens. I think that big things will happen for you guys, and it's awesome because you're not just honoring your father's legacy, you're also continuing his passion to really help others, which it sounds like was what your father was all about. So. Absolutely. Chrissy, thank you for being here with me this morning. Thank mm -hmm. you again, Jenna, for having me. You're welcome. I'm going to take a quick break, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.